What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Bitcoin Cash today. Shout out to the Dragon Riders in the House of the Dragon. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, you guys. I very much do appreciate you for doing that. Sorry, I was just writing something down. If, if you were uh, noticing that I was looking down while I was talking, um, I was writing some stuff down. So, Anyways, $383 is the current price that we're at right now. Uh, we had a bit of a of a psych out, a psyop of a day yesterday, didn't we? It looked like we were moving out. This is what they call a fake out, you guys, right? We Maybe it's more obvious on a four-hour time frame, right? Fake out, harsh rejection, volume followed through, rejected the overbought zone, so looked like we were going to get into it. Um, we're still in good shape on the four-hour RSI. I'm not worried about this rejection. Um, you know, I'm not worried about it on the daily. It looks more harsh than it might be. And let's see if we can find any examples of that going back in the past. I mean, here, here's a pretty harsh rejection there and uh, definitely sent us lower. You know, you kind of had this day here, right? Big move up, broke above all these other highs. And then two days later, that's when you ripped. Big move up, broke above. The only difference is this day was green, this day was red, but it's it's not that big of a difference, right? There, it's it's really not that significant. So, I mean, it, it doesn't mean death uh, and turmoil. It's, it's not really a good look, but I mean, it, it definitely... It can promote uh, further price action to the upside instead of to the downside. The four hour has me a little bit more optimistic, I'm not going to lie. Look at all the volume you had on the way up. This was a pretty sizable amount of volume based on the four hour for a rejection, but not as much as we had at the low here. And actually, we're finding support right at the closing period of this candle. We're not finding support. I shouldn't say that. We're, we, we might be looking to find support there. Um, looking at this low to this high. Perhaps we go a little bit lower. Yeah, you know, maybe we go down to like 380. We're at we're at 383 right now, so just a little bit lower. Maybe we go down to like 375, 370, something like that. I know a lot of you might have been caught off guard or not caught off guard. Um, you have questions or worries, concerns with this video. Urgent Bitcoin warning: 58k needs to hold. You've been asking, what does that mean for Bitcoin Cash? Well, well I want to say first and foremost because I think a lot of a lot of people might have misunderstood what I was saying with that video. It's, I don't expect that we're going to break 58k. I don't expect that. I, I only made that video to make us aware of circumstances that need to be met or circumstances that we need not to happen in order to avoid Bitcoin itself going lower. I did say several times that I expect Bitcoin to bounce off of 58K or higher prices, okay? So um, I might not have said or higher prices, but that, that to me, that's implied. Like bouncing off of 58K or maybe we don't even go down there and we find we find support at higher prices. But um, <clears throat> there is a chance and, and the way that it looks, there, there's definitely compelling evidence in the charts that could suggest that we do break that level. If Bitcoin breaks 58K, yes, that would probably not be good for Bitcoin Cash. The odds of Bitcoin Cash performing well and moving up while Bitcoin is crashing, hurtling down toward targets that are below 50K, um, the odds of that happening are just, it's not really there. That's not normally what happens. They do tend to ride in tandem with each other, right? Bitcoin Cash does well when Bitcoin's doing well, and it does bad when Bitcoin's doing bad. Um, <clears throat> let's actually put a correlation coefficient on here just to show BTC USD, and we'll just do on Coinbase because what? Why why didn't it come up? What the heck, man? You saw it, right? I put it in there. That's so weird. BTCU. Oh. Oh, that's why. Somehow. It went to Bitcoin. I don't know why. I don't know what I what I thought I did, but correlation coefficient. BTC USD. Here we go. Apply. Okay. <clears throat> On a monthly chart, I mean throughout its entire existence, Bitcoin Cash is more correlated than it is not correlated to Bitcoin's price movements. There are times where it's less correlated, um, for sure. You know, here, for whatever reason, we were at a decorrelated phase, uncorrelated phase. I feel like that looks pretty similar to what Bitcoin was doing, though. You know, they're, they're both moving sideways. I feel like Bitcoin might have been more bullish during this time after the COVID dump. But, anyways, anyways largely on a monthly basis correlated largely on a weekly basis correlated very very rare occasions where they are not correlated right um 
than on a daily basis. I mean, yes, there are times where for a brief period of time, they're not correlated, but most of the time they are very, very, very correlated. So um, all that to say, is it possible that Bitcoin could dump and Bitcoin Cash does not dump? Yes, it's possible, but likely, no, it's definitely not likely. I, I would think that Bitcoin Cash, if BTC were to break 58K and were to go lower, you know, to those sub 50K targets, we could see Bitcoin Cash move all the way down to 288, 260. And I'm not going to lie, actually, looking at this right now, this relative low to this relative high, this, this might not be what you guys want to hear. But if you look at this FIB, it's pretty damn perfect for downside price action, at, at least right now. Uh, you came down, you found support on your 382. You had a double rejection off of your 236. Broke below your 382, found support on your 0.5. Now, with yesterday's price action, we found resistance on the 382. This is a perfect kind of storm to take us down to the 61869 zone, which again would be 288 to 260, somewhere in that area. We're at 384 now. If Bitcoin Cash dropped that low, is the bull market over? No. Is this a higher low versus like all this stuff here? Yes, it is still. You know, it's it's a it's a lower low based off of this, but it's still a higher low. Um, in the macro kind of scheme of things, right? So, and it's a pullback to your golden ratio. So even though, yes, that would suck, prices below $300 are not ideal for anybody that wants to see the price go up. It would be ideal for anybody that wants to buy in that felt like they missed out, um, maybe capitulate some people who bought up here and they're, they're getting uh, discouraged. You, you shake out those weak hands and then you're ready to go for the long haul. Um, meanwhile, you know, whenever you start moving back up, the same people that sell down here or sell down here, Whenever the price moves back up, they'll be buying back in again, probably at the same levels or higher than they bought originally because they, they start to see the, uh, the, the dream come into reality, right? But all that to say, guys, I'm not, I'm not personally assuming that Bitcoin Cash goes down there. I personally don't assume that. Um, I'm just saying there's there's things in the charts, both on Bitcoin and on Bitcoin Cash, as we just saw, that would make sense for it to go down there. If we look at the weekly RSI, to me... You know, relatively speaking, it's it, it kind of is sickly looking, relatively speaking, right? Right, like this part right here, breaking below the 50, double top at the overbought zone. You didn't hold areas that you would look to hold. It looked like you were going to, but now you've broken below the 50. But if you zoom out and you look at this grand scheme of it all, it's still a higher low, right? And this higher high, it's still it's still a bullish trajectory. It's kind of odd. It's like slant slumping over, but I, th I think it's fine. I don't, I don't really think it's a problem. Um, finding support at the bottom, overall of this range right now like that's what it looks like we're doing we've we've got a very neutral candle we have two days left in this week this is an extremely neutral candle they call this a spinning it's kind of like a spinning top i would say it's a spinning top i mean it would be like a spinning top spinning bottom i don't know it's like a top right you spin it that's that's why they call it that um and that tends to happen at tops or bottoms, right? It's spinning, spinning top doji. Maybe spinning tops are smaller wicks. I don't know, but but same kind of effect. I would assume it's it's an uncertainty candle. And whenever you have uncertainty after a big move, then you get your uncertainty up here. Well, likely you're probably going to go down. You get your uncertainty down here. You know, it means you're going to go up. Anyways, that's that's kind of the theory. Um, also, looking at this relative low, maybe I should go to the daily so it's more obvious. Relative low to relative high here. We have found support on the 1414, 1272 area. You know, we even reached for the 1618 um, down there, but we didn't quite see it. If we can get above $412 on a closing basis, that would really be a good look for us right now. That's kind of the goal. What we don't want to see right? We've closed below the 1272. What we don't want to see is a daily close. We can get below it. We just don't want to close below. It. We don't want to see a daily close below 355. If we see that, you guys, then likely we're going to 335. And I have a funny feeling that we wouldn't just stop there because it would start to look a lot more like we were going to that overall 618 from this, which, which would take us down um, to this 2272 area, 2618 area, you know, and that's a very likely... Uh, deeper extension to hit based off of the kind of setup that we have now if we close below 355. So I suppose the line to watch in the sand, I didn't mean for this video to go this way. I thought it was going to be more just like day-to-day -day stuff, but I, I made that comparison to Bitcoin's 58K, and I think I think we should do the same with this one, right? Um, the line in the sand to watch for Bitcoin Cash, 
I mean, technically, from a fit perspective, it, it would be 335. It would be the golden ratio, the golden extension there. But that's just below these lows. I think that we would be forfeit to lower prices before then. And I really think that just based off of how FIBs work, you kind of stair step your way down and you have been stair stepping your way down. Um, being that you close below the 1272 already, I would say that the next level, the 1414, if we close below that, that's the line in the sand we don't want to cross, right? We can we can move below it, sure. We can move below 355. That's okay. Moving below is fine, but we do not want to close below there, okay? If we do, well, we'll see you below $300 probably. That's I, I say that we could close, tip the 1618, and then boom, we move up. You know, it's not guaranteed, but my more optimistic, bullish um, approach thinking that we're going to go up here where, where my next target literally is to break above 412. That's that's the area we want to break if we're going to be bullish is $412.30. Let's, let's call it 413 just to round it up. Um, not just move above it, but but close above it, right, on a daily basis. Um, and then we'll, we'll talk from there. We've got more work to do than just that. But uh, what was I going to say before I got on that? I mean, we could move down and then still you know, close below this and still move up, right? It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're going all the way down here, but I would start to shift from my bias right now, which, which not to get confused, even though I feel like I have a tendency to be confusing sometimes, apparently, um, is that I do think we're going to move up. Perhaps we move sideways, perhaps we're boring. Maybe we even revisit this area, whatever. But I do think that we're going to move up, but that would change if we break this line at 355. So I hope that's clear. I hope if I made it confusing, I brought it back to make it seem kind of um, sensible, right? The daily RSI for what it's worth doesn't look good. If you look at the daily RSI, what I'm kind of excited about, okay, this is this is kind of cool and this does get me excited, okay? There's, there's things that don't get me excited being that there's definitely room to go lower. Absolutely there is. The way that we're postured is lower highs, lower lows definitely is room to go lower. And being that we're in the oversold area, this is when the strength to the downside would come in if we're gonna go down. Okay, so there's that. But what also gets me on the on the flip side of that, what gets me excited is if we look at this for kind of what it is, it's like this channel, it's like phase down, okay? The RSI stops at 100. It stops at zero, you can't go past that. I would assume this next drive down, however low, however low we go, would be one, if not one of two of our final, like like we're, we're very near the uh, bottom of this move. I couldn't see us moving lower too much more past July, right? Like sometime at the end of summer, we're gonna start to see things kicking back up again, if not if not immediately, all right? This is all assuming if it, if it were to go down. We're at the end of this channel is what I'm trying to say. And when a channel like this that's been formed over months breaks, that that's normally a storm for, uh, for some phenomenal things to take place, right? And if this if this is what our move was coming from areas at about 237 i would expect that if we were around 300 280 that we would exceed that high maybe not by much maybe by a lot you know time will tell we'll see but you know again to finish this video off the areas to watch right now would be that's that's not right my bad it would be this one it would be $413, let's just say that, right? Let's break 413 to the upside. That's my personal assumption is that we are gonna move up, but if I'm wrong, then the area to watch would be, uh, it's off the same fib actually, would be $355. If we close below there, then the tone would change in regards to Bitcoin Cash and not for the better, so. That's all I got to say. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for being here. I will see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.